Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the pre-hatch six-pack tying series. We're on to pattern number four, and uh, we're going to tie up the Squirrely UV Micro Leech. Um, this is a uh, variation on a the pretty popular pattern uh, called the Glens Leech, um, using a technique from that Glens Leech, um, and just updating some of the more modern UV materials. Uh, with it. So I've got a size 10 Togan scud hook in the vise and the scud hook is uh, key to this pattern um, as we need something with a curved um, hook and I've got some O2O lead wire and I'm just going to do 8 or 10 wraps of this right in the center of the hook and uh, the reason we do it there is that's the highest point on the hook and when you fish this pattern it'll actually uh, flip upside down so it's great when it comes to um, hanging it over weed beds and that kind of thing close to the bottom uh, just less likely to hook stuff um, so I've got some black UTC thread here and I'm just gonna get that started on the hook and get building just kind of some ramps before and after the lead just going to make wrapping our brill a little bit easier and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover up the majority of this uh, lead I'll just keep wrapping until that gets covered keep everything as smooth as we can I'll go ahead and build our little thread ramp in front here <clears throat> yeah it doesn't have to be totally covered up but the majority of it anyways and once you get that done just go ahead and stop right at the back here now what I've got is a micro pine squirrel zonker and uh, I'm doing this fly in black, so we've got this in black. And I'm just going to take this zonker, just take a short strip, and uh, I've cleared some of the hide free there. And I'm just going to tuck this hide kind of right on below where that lead finished. And just get that tied in. And I'm not going to go too far down there and just cover everything up. You can see that gives you a nice smooth transition there. So now what I've got is some black UV brill. Um, some, some places call this a straggle as well. Uh, but you can see it just comes on a card and uh, pretty neat looking stuff. Lots of UV in there. So <clears throat> pretty straightforward pattern to tie. Um, we just go ahead and tie this in near the back here. Make sure that's nice and secure. And then we can wind our thread up. And I'm just going to give that a quick whip finish just to keep my thread in place up there while I wrap this brill. And go ahead and can wrap this up the body trying to sweep these pearl fibers back as you wrap just so you're not trapping too many of them just wrap this stuff up the body <clears throat> you get close almost all the way to the hook eye there about a hook eye's length back we can go ahead and tie this off make sure it's 
nice and secure. A few wraps there. And then we'll just come in and trim this out. <clears throat> Pull everything back. Just clean this head up here. Just form a little black head on the fly. That looks good. Grab your whip finisher. Go ahead and throw a four or five turns in here. That looks pretty good. Now we can come back here and we'll just trim our tail to length. This is kind of personal preference, however long you'd like it to be. They kind of go a little longer than the than the uh, hook itself. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Happy with that. You get a lot of movement out of that tail. And uh, I'm take some good old crazy glue here and just throw a dab on these thread wraps. Keep everything nice and durable. And that's all there is to the uh, Squirrely UV. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. This is a wicked little pattern. I know it'll fish well for you. So uh, that wraps up video number four in the series. I will uh, see you next week for uh, video number five. Thanks again for watching and uh, tight lines.